Where we are standing here is uh, the upcoming level 5, Ziwa level 5 hospital, that is a 350 bed capacity hospital. This facility will have uh, different uh, departments, it is going to provide different specialist services. We shall have critical care department, we shall have um, radiology department which we shall be providing MRI, CT scan services. We shall also have um, pediatric unit, uh, surgical wards, medical wards and a modern maternity wing and different theatres. So we are going to, we anticipate that uh, by March 2022 the facility will be complete and uh, it shall be providing the services. At the moment we have uh, identified, we are in the process of identifying the different staff that will be working in this facility because you know that it's, uh, such a big facility will require a big number of staff, over 1,000, unlike what is happening now in the Ziwa level 4 where we have about 200 staff. So we are really looking at um, the, the, the hard-working staff and we want to see whether we, they can go and specialize so that by the time we are opening this facility they will be ready. We are also in the process of uh, preparing the equipment that will be required and then uh, we shall be able to procure in time so that the facility will serve the people so that we don't have a facility that is completed and uh, not operational. So we are really on course and we have uh, good plans and uh, this facility is going to be very, um, uh, it is going to be timely and we know that Wasingishu has lacked, um, apart from MTRH, it, has, it doesn't have any other level 5 hospital and the population here is large, so 1.2 million yeah, population at least we expect to have about two level five hospitals so this is going to help in decongesting Moi Teaching and Referral Hospital and it is also going to serve uh, the neighboring um, counties and uh, at the moment because if you see um, the people that come to this facility we have people who travel as far as Kachibora to come and seek services here so we believe that it is going to serve a big uh, population and it is going to uh, ensure it is in line with the, His Excellency the President's agenda of universal health coverage and having such a facility um, in this side means that the people won't have to travel far to seek for specialized services. We were unfortunate earlier we had contractors who are really not um, who did not produce they were not able to do the work as we expected and uh, we learned our lessons from there, that is why we terminated the, uh, the, the projects and we have awarded, uh, as you can see, capable contractors. And we had to, after we learned, we really had to do due diligence so that we made sure that the contractors we awarded the contracts are up to the task and are able to provide and uh, do quality work. This is one of the flagship projects of His Excellency Jackson uh, Arab Bandago. And uh, as you can see, he will deliver this flagship project before his term ends. And it is not the only flagship project. Uh, in our department, we have other flagship projects. We have Keses Level 4, which is already ongoing. We also have um, Capteldon, which is a maternity, a 40 bed maternity unit, which is almost complete. We also have uh, um, West Maternity Hospital, which is a 70 bed facility which is going to be complete in the next three months and uh, his flagship projects in the Department of Health are on course.